One of the biggest criticisms WWE has faced over the years has been their lack of long-term storytelling. All too often, storylines will be dropped out of nowhere, or allegiances that had previously defined characters will go forgotten. It can be frustrating to watch, but that's not to say WWE is always guilty of this. No, in fact, there have been some excellent examples of long-term storytelling during the company's long history, such as Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth's love story, The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak, and most recently, Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. One of the best examples of this, though, has kind of fallen in the company's lap, starting way back in 2003 and only now peaking in 2020. Audiences have gotten to see Dominic Mysterio go from innocent child all the way to WWE superstar. It's rare that we get to watch one person grow so much before our eyes, and it really allows us to get invested so much easier. Of course, the men that anchored Dominic in the wrestling world are his father Rey Mysterio and the late great Eddie Guerrero, both of whom have a big part to play in this story too. So join us today as we take a deep dive into this 15-year-long journey in Who's Your Poppy? The Story of Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, and Dominic. Now, Eddie and Rey's history goes back a long way, of course, way before the birth of Dominic. Both men, being of Mexican heritage, started their careers together in the Lucha Libre scene south of the border, each working for one of Mexico's two premier wrestling promotions, AAA, from 1992 until they were introduced to American audiences through Paul Heyman's ECW in 1995. From there, they were snapped up by WCW, where they wowed audiences with their innovative high-flying performances. In fact, the best match of the early part of both men's careers came against each other in an absolute classic at 1997's Halloween Havoc pay-per-view. It goes without saying, then, that the two had great in-ring chemistry, but they were also good friends in real life, something which extended out to their families. In fact, when Dominic Mysterio was born on April 5, 1997, Eddie was actually chosen to be his godfather, which is slightly ironic given what would later occur on WWE TV. Eddie, of course, was the first to jump to WWE, leaving with Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko, and Perry Saturn in January 2000. Ray didn't come until a couple of years later after the invasion angle had ended, his debut happening on the July 25, 2002 edition of SmackDown. A year later, when both men were firmly established as WWE superstars, fans got their first glimpse of the young Dominic, who at only six years old, appeared in the audience on the June 5, 2003 edition of SmackDown cheering on his father as he captured the cruiserweight title from Matt Hardy. It's also notable that Dominic's sister Aaliyah was in attendance that night too, given how she has now become an on-screen character on WWE TV herself. That night, after Ray got the victory, his son even joined him in the ring for the celebration. Dominic appeared on screen again on the September 11th edition of SmackDown that same year, watching his father battle Brock Lesnar. At the time, it may have just seemed like a nice little Easter egg to see Mysterio's children in the crowd, but little did fans know this was planting the seeds for a future story. In 2005, Dominic reappeared on WWE TV. However, with him already being established in fans' minds, he was now primed to get involved in one of the wackiest stories in the company's history. Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio had been involved in a slowly building feud since February of that year with the two friends winning tag team gold together and even having a match against each other at WrestleMania 21. The bout was treated as a friendly exhibition at the time, however, it wouldn't be long before Guerrero turned on Ray, abandoning the man he had once considered his family. After this, Eddie threatened to reveal a long-held Mysterio family secret. This lingering plot threat simmered for a while, as the story expanded outwards with the families of both men getting involved, each begging Guerrero not to reveal what he knew. At the Great American Bash pay-per-view on July 24, 2005, Ray fought his former brother with the understanding that if he won, the secret would remain as such forever. Ray did win in the end, but in typical lying, cheating, and stealing fashion, Eddie told the world anyway, revealing on the following episode of SmackDown that he was actually the father of Dominic. Yes, Latino Heat told WWE audiences that eight years before, he and his wife Vicky had been having marital difficulties, leading to him getting another woman pregnant. He also alleged that at the same time, Ray and his wife Angie were having trouble conceiving a child of their own, so Eddie, good friend that he was, allowed them to adopt his bastard son. Yes, it's completely ludicrous even by wrestling standards, and would only get sillier from there, but somehow it ended up becoming a classic storyline 
primarily due to the commitment in performances by Rey Mysterio playing the broken father and Eddie Guerrero playing the cackling villain. Perhaps even more so than them, though, Dominic proved himself in many ways to be the MVP of the program, his facial expressions alone being enough to break fans' hearts and prove just how much of a natural performer he was. In fact, many fans speculated that he would one day make a great WWE superstar of his own. As the story wound on, Guerrero, now hell-bent on taking everything from his former friend, threatened to reclaim custody of his secret son. This resulted in one of the most ridiculous gimmick matches in wrestling history, a ladder match where the custody papers for a child were held above the ring, with the winner becoming Dominic's legal father. I'm not sure which judge allowed this to take place, but nevertheless, the match happened at that year's SummerSlam, with Dominic even getting involved by trying to shake Eddie off the ladder at one point so as to help his true father, Ray, get the victory. Side point, this is also the match that had the now legendary moment of Vicky Guerrero missing a cue to do a run-in, leading Eddie to scream, Look at Eddie! Frustrated. Frustrated. Fully audible for the live crowd and audience at home. That one definitely made Botchamania. With Mysterio winning, fans were given the emotional climax of the story, one that, given the real-life family dynamics and the young child that was involved in it, had to be carefully managed. Dominic has since recalled going to school and having not only friends but teachers believing that the whole thing was real. Producers backstage at WWE clearly recognized how delicate the whole situation was, especially as it had the potential to traumatize the young Dominic. Bruce Pritchard has since spoken about working on the feud on his Something to Wrestle With podcast, saying that he had to approve the idea in stages, first running it by Eddie and Ray, then their spouses, and after that, Dominic himself, making sure he understood that it was only a story and preparing him for any questions that might come as a result of it. Unfortunately, this was a tale that could never fully be revisited, as Eddie Guerrero would be found dead in his hotel room on November 13, 2005, having passed away of acute heart failure. That same day, WWE held a tribute show for Eddie, with Mysterio breaking storyline and eulogizing his fallen friend in an emotional speech. Later that night, he also beat Shawn Michaels in an exhibition match, pointing to the sky in memory of Guerrero afterwards. After this, Ray continued on in WWE, with Dominic making a couple of more appearances on screen, twice in 2006 and once in 2010. After these appearances, it wouldn't be until March 19, 2019 that Dominic reappeared in the company alongside his father in a backstage segment on SmackDown. By this point, Dominic had grown from the boy that fans once knew him as, transforming into a full-grown man. At 6'1", he towered over Ray, and it was even joked by some that he looked like he could be the son of NXT UK star Walter. The reason for this reappearance was that Dominic, now 21, had decided to follow his father's footsteps and become a wrestler. He'd been training prior to this, having been coached by his dad, as well as Jay Lethal, Conan, and Lance Storm. Yes, those fans who had talked about how good of a performer Dominic might end up being all those years ago were finally vindicated, as the young Mysterio had come of age and was ready to get in the ring. He would get involved in a number of his father's feuds in 2019, most notably providing interference for his WWE title match against Brock Lesnar at that year's Survivor Series. It wouldn't be until summer 2020, where now, at the age of 23, Dominic would get the first feud of his own as a WWE superstar. In May, Ray had entered into a program with Seth Rollins, which had climaxed in an eye-for-an-eye eye match, about which Mysterio lost after having his eyeball popped out of his socket. 2020's been a weird year, what can we say? After signing a new contract, Ray of course made a miraculous recovery, but by then his son was already out for revenge and had challenged Rollins to a grudge match at the August 23rd SummerSlam pay-per-view. In the lead-up to this, Dominic proved he wasn't just the recipient of nepotism by taking an absolute beating from Seth, with him ending up being on the receiving end of 30 kendo stick shots, something which left his back looking gruesome afterwards. He impressed people even more when it came time for the actual bout. It ended up being an excellent showing, and was arguably match of the night. Granted, Dominic had just about as good of a dance partner to lead him through it as anyone could have hoped for in Rollins, but it takes two to tango and the young Mysterio put on one hell of a performance considering this was his first wrestling match. He even got a chance to give a shout out to his kayfabe father Eddie Guerrero by hitting Rollins with a frog splash at one point, satisfying fans who were paying attention and wanted to see the company acknowledge that dangling plot thread. 
Dominic ended up losing the match but won the hearts and minds of fans all over the world in what was truly a star-making performance. Clearly, Ray was proud of his son for what he had achieved that night, but many still wish that Eddie could have been there too. When asked about Guerrero in an interview after the match, Dominic said that he also wished his godfather could have been there to see his big debut. Still, while he might not have been able to appear in person, he was certainly there in spirit. After this match, the story continued, with Ray returning to television, now with two fully functioning eyes again. He further solidified his son's place on the roster, and got to live out a moment he had wanted to for years in the process when he teamed with Dominic at the following week's Payback pay-per-view to fight Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy in what ended up being a winning effort. The night after on Raw, Dominic subbed in for his injured father to take on Rollins again. The week after this, he got his first singles victory in WWE by beating Murphy in a street fight with the help of his family. One week later, and he ended his trilogy of matches with Rollins inside a steel cage. Each time he stepped into the squared circle, Dominic impressed both fans and his peers. While still learning in many respects, he managed to show great natural aptitude for wrestling, and if he keeps going in this direction, he may one day end up having the same legend status as both his real-life and kayfabe fathers. Right now, Dominic is getting a chance to flex more acting muscles as the Mysterios are once again enveloped in a family scandal on WWE TV, with his sister Aaliyah having seemingly begun a love affair with Buddy Murphy, sparking a potential Romeo and Juliet-style story. We're sure that Dominic and Ray will throw themselves headfirst into this, and we're equally as sure that both will come out of it looking better at the end because Ray is frankly so talented that he comes out of everything looking stronger, and based on what we've seen so far, his son appears to be the same. But where does Dominic go after that? Like we said, while he has done a lot to impress audiences so far, he still has much to learn, and under normal circumstances, we wouldn't have been surprised to see him have a run in NXT while he honed his skills. Given how high profile a role he's had on TV though, it's hard to see him getting demoted now, so he'll likely remain on the main roster, improving with each match. Maybe his father will end up being his manager, or maybe, as many fans have speculated, there will be an eventual program between the two, leading to Ray's retirement. If this does happen, we can only hope that they call back to the infamous parentage storyline, as it would be such a great way to spark a feud, giving both performers something juicy to sink their teeth into, while also bringing the whole thing full circle by returning the sadly departed Eddie Guerrero to the front of the story. Either way, like his father and godfather before him, Dominic is destined to be a star. It's wild to think that we've been with him for this whole journey so far, watching him since he was only six years old and continuing to see where he goes now. The tale of Dominic Mysterio and the interweaving of Ray and Eddie's careers around it has proven to be one of the best examples of long-term storytelling in WWE. With them being able to successfully use that program from so many years ago and shift it to the narrative of a young babyface fighting alongside his dad while throwing out occasional nods to his godfather, looking to prove himself to both of them as well as fans around the world. Without crowds in attendance, it's hard to say how fans will respond to him as an in-ring performer when they return, but if social media is anything to go by, we expect great babyface reactions for the father-son duo, with more than a few Eddie chants peppered in there too to remind us all of the third party in this story who, while no longer with us in person, will always remain in their memories, and whose legacy, along with Ray's, will still be continued through Dominic into the next generation of WWE. Well guys, what did you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, as well as follow WrestleWithAndy on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.